Hi everyone, it's Candy from Mommy Palooza coming to you today. I just wanted to share some thoughts with you um, about sort of setting goals and 2013 and what that sort of means for um, goal setting, personal and professional. And as I was going through some of my notes um, over the past couple of weeks, I came across um, some notes that I had from the Disney Social Media Moms event, which I have shared before that I was privileged to be able to attend last April um, with my family and uh, had just learned a wealth of information, not just about Disney, but they had some awesome speakers there. And one of the, um, one of the speakers, Lisa Drexman, who's the founder of Stroller Strides, came to talk to us and just sort of shared her journey about how she came up with her business idea and how she was able to implement it and follow her passion. And Oddly enough, those are some of the notes that I came across as I was doing some research on my own, um, in my own notebook and in my own, on my own notes on my computer that I had saved. And I was really moved by some of the stuff that she shared, and I realized that I hadn't shared it with you all yet. So today I wanted to share some information from Lisa that she shared with us, the conference attendees, while we were there, um, because I think that it could really help not only if you're a blogger, but just in normal everyday life, many of us are moms who are trying to juggle our house and our family and maybe even a part-time job or volunteer work or whatever the case may be. And you just sort of need, feel like you need some sort of action plan. And I'm not one to really make resolutions at the beginning of the year. I just feel like a resolution can be made at any time of the year. So whether you started this January 1st or whether you start January 15th or January 17th or whatever the day is, um, I think what's important is to keep in mind why you're doing what you're doing and how you're going to remain focused on doing it. So um, Lisa had shared a plan with us, and she outlined it in the acronym GRIP, G-R-I-P. And first and foremost, before she started getting into that, she shared some information with us, just sort of a little quote, um, turning your can'ts into cans and your dreams into plans, which to me is like a light bulb thing because it's just sort of one of those things that you can remember easily and a dream doesn't have to necessarily be some big exotic um, you know dream that you have but a dream can sometimes be having all of your laundry done um, within a weekend or something similar to that so um, just keeping that mind frame and in keeping in that philosophy I think that if you think about it in terms of turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans a lot can actually change and since most of it is you know, attitude based in how your mental state is, I think keeping that um, frame of mind is really going to go far. So the acronym I, told, I shared with you earlier is GRIP. So the first, the G is actually for grow. And um, Lisa had shared with us, you know, to, to kind of be able to push ourselves an extra step. So be able to grow within yourself and push yourself. So if you're, for instance, if you're a blogger who does not blog, or who doesn't video, or who doesn't take pictures of themselves very often, um, and share them with your readers, um, maybe that's a little baby step that, you, that can help you grow. So growing doesn't just mean, um, it doesn't just have to do with blogging either. Um, you can obviously apply that to just about anything in life. Um, so grow your, grow your, what you're comfortable with doing, and push yourself that extra step to have that frame of mind that you can actually accomplish something. Hi. <laughs> Um, the R that she shared with us in the word grip is recharge. So it's really important, especially if you're home all day with these little guys, to um, take a minute, take 10 minutes actually is what she suggested, to recharge yourself, whether that's going for a walk, sitting down and reading a book, sitting down and reading your favorite blogs. Um, 10 minutes is not a lot, a lot of time, but I think that it's enough to sort of put yourself in a different frame of mind and then go back to what you're doing. So taking that extra step to recharge each day is really important for um, everyone, not just moms. Um, so try to you know, keep that into your plans as well. The I that she, she shared was inspiration. And when I think of inspiration, I think of all the people that I surround myself with daily. So not only my um, in real life friends, but my blogger friends. Um, I'm, I follow those and I'm, I'm drawn to those who have um, like minds with me. So we are like-minded individuals and I love to surround myself around people who share the same philosophies and the same goals and um, have the same, want the same support system that I do. So 
be wary of who is your inspiration. Who are you surrounding yourself with, not only in real life, but virtually online as well. And the P that she shared with us is plan, which, of course, we've all heard it before. Um, you know, planning is probably one of the most things I struggle with because I tend to be a fly by seat my pants person when it comes to um, setting my own personal goals. If it's with my kids or my husband or my family, I tend to have those things planned out. So I think it's important to also plan for yourself. Whatever your personal goals are, plan for that. Um, I love to use the saying that my dad has, I've grown up with this saying. He's always said it a hundred million times. When you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I'm sure you all have heard it before too. But that just echoes in my head and really is, I find it's really applicable here because, you know, it's totally true. When you don't plan for something and then you, it doesn't turn out the way that you wanted, that's really because of the lack of planning. So I think that if we can try to remember also to plan in baby steps and not something huge. So whether it's, if you're feeling, you know, that you're, you're challenged with organization or organizing, you know, your house or your, your paperwork or whatever, to plan in baby steps. So maybe, you know, set small goals and plan out what you're going to do just for a week at a time, not that I want to have my whole, all these five rooms organized by, you know, spring. Um, I think it's, it's planning has to be very methodical and very doable. So remembering those. I hope that the GRIP grip um, philosophy that um, Lisa shared with us and that I've passed along to you today is, is going to be a little bit helpful for you. I just find that it's such a short chunk of information that it's a small chunk of information so I can easily keep it and remember it on my day-to-day, -day, on a daily basis. So anyway, you want to say anything? Yeah. <laughs> I hope that this has helped you and I would love to hear in the comments if you um, did make resolutions and how you're kind of coming along and if you didn't maybe maybe this will inspire you to sort of not really make a resolution but sort of change your frame of mind and push you to the next level and inspire you to do even better things. Thanks for watching.